Hi, this video here we're gonna show how to build the base and the fountain in place. We start with uh, framing the base for the fountain. Here we created a, a 50 inch diameter uh, circle. I used an edger to uh, create the parameter and uh, spread the concrete in place nicely and be sure to level everything flat. After this you start adding the curbing and uh, use mortar to go ahead and mortar all the 10 pieces together in place. Uh, you're gonna end up with like one inch extra on the outside because the diameter of the curbing it's 48 inch. After no. placing all the curbing in place be sure everything it's nice and level with the wet sponge, you could start cleaning all the grout joint and the edges on the curbing. Now you're ready to go ahead and start putting the fountain together. Here I used two stones to elevate the base for the fountain. This way it will allow us to put the pump underneath the whole fountain. Use a level to check everything it's nice and level. Place mortar okay. on top of the base Good. and uh, one of the cast middle segment on top of the mortar. After pla placing this one you're gonna start mortaring the second piece and as you see there is a center groove this is uh, the area where the uh, pipe yeah. for the water fountain is gonna be passing through so put mortar both okay, sides and place it on top of the base nope. and clamp it now. together I need the clamps Using two clamp, squeeze it nice together and remove any excess grout and fill up any areas that uh, still did not, the grout did not squeeze out. Now place mortar also on top of it and place the second uh, base, which here it's the top, on top of it. You need level or it, yes. looks, it looks level. Right? Let's get the level Check if it's nice and level in both direction. Not good. Perfect. So here, what we need? We need to again clean up all the excess grout after you're done. Okay. This is the base. Uh, for the, the planter that's going to go on top of it and this is the six inch column base you could have it uh, uh, drilled when you cast it by uh, putting a piece of wood and here I use the hammer drill to drill it this is the pipe I'm going to be using for uh, the fountain so you go ahead put mortar on this one and place it on top of the Windsor pedestal center it and as you see, you could wiggle it down. This way you could get some squeeze of mortar all around. And if there is an area with little gaps, you could fill it up with more mortar. Again, repeat by cleaning uh, the excess grout. Now we're ready for the saucer to go on top of it. So again, you put uh, mortar on top of the base and place the saucer on top of it. Here again I did not have the, the, the saucer drilled so using the hammer drill I did drill it. I'm using here one you inch this one. drill bit. So see and there is nice squeeze of uh, mortar all around. 
clean it up and be sure it's nice and, and, and level in both directions. Always clean up the excess grout. Okay. Double check if it's still level. Not really, it moved. Okay. To wrap it up, what we have done today, first we started with the base. We cast the base and it took like five bags of concrete and it's almost like uh, three and a half inch thick. After we cast the base, we mortared these in place we put these stones to lift up the whole pedestal up. This way we will have room for the pump to be inside of it. We put the two in half and we mortar them together using clamp. And on top, we put the same uh, cap like the base, a column base and the column. Now, there is a hole in all of it. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the water uh, hose, actually it's a water pipe, we're gonna push it in all the way down. And this will be connected down to the pump. And here we'll go ahead, put silicone and we'll silicone it in. This way the water will not go down. So we have inserted the, the pipe in and now it's all the way down. So we will uh, locate the pump, we'll cut it, attach it to the pump. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this one all the way down here. So when I wanna clean up uh, the water, I will be able to flush it through. Also my cord is gonna go in the same place and it's gonna come and pass all the way here. I'll be cutting this one this high, just above the edge. So this way, the water will never come out of here. It will be able to spill, uh, spill out of here, but not out of here. On this end, I'm putting a ball uh, valve. So anytime I need to flush it, I turn it on and I'll let the water out. I'll have an electric uh, box here and the cord of the pump it will plug into the electric box.